welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here today. Today's day three of the evolution of tool making class that's going on here in my workshop. It's going great. I have just demonstrated how to make a bottom furrow, which is an exciting little project. Uh, basically, it involves a few conundrums you've got to overcome. One being that the top, uh, you want to dissipate the four, the, the, pardon me, that it's, every time you hit a piece of steel, you're going to dissipate the force at the top first, rather than at the bottom. And secondly, that the anvil is a heat sink and takes the heat out of the bottom. These are some conundrums that are fun to talk over and work out a solution for. The solution that we use in this class is cooling off half of the body of the tool before forging it down with the sledge, bringing it down to the plane. Now, once we bring it down and we create a nice squat base to distribute the force over the animal faces as, as properly as possible, then it's simply a case of squaring it up and then beginning to forge a taper. We do it all with, straight with the sledge, you know, straight direct percussive force, straight onto the workpiece with the sledge. That's pretty fun. Then we, when we, then when we start forging the taper, that's also with the sledge. Over the far edge though, so we don't run the sledge into the anvil. Of course, each heat, we then run into the issue that we're gonna fish mouth it ever so slightly. So at the end of each heat, so that we don't go too far too fast and create too much of a fish mouth, what we then do is redress it. We hammer it back down the other way, put the chamfer on it again, make it nice and pretty that way. Then, similar case of prettying it up, and that's, uh, that's how we forge the bottom fuller. It's a really nice tool to forge. Of course, we match it up to the top fuller. And uh, from there, we're then gonna move on to a cupping tool. One of the funnest projects here, because it involves learning to work with a group of strikers, learning to work with four strikers in a team to be able to upset this piece without running sledges into each other or hitting each other with sledges. It's a tremendous amount of fun getting the rhythm. Of course, we start gently with the hammer and then eventually we follow the lead and the pace and the, the, the rhythm and the power of the director to hit harder and harder as we go, bringing the cupping tool down shape. 